Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Don Amot Showground here in Derby. My name's Tom, and I'm very excited to show you around our latest arrival. So this is an Eldis Sorrento 196. It's 2.2 litres uh, on a 140 brake horsepower engine. I'm really excited to show you around it today. Uh, uh, what we're going to be doing, we'll take you around the outside first, and uh, then we'll jump on the inside after. Now, with this motorhome, it's a dealership special, so it's packed full of loads of fun and cool extras, which I'll show you as we go round. So it's on a 22 plate, so uh, it is um, credit to its previous owner, been looked after very well, can't see nothing wrong with it. If we go just down here, look, we can see the beautiful alloy wheels just at the front. Moving down this way, you've got a few uh, storage compartments in there. Toilet cassette is just there as well on this side. Fresh water fill. So to get uh, fresh water into the van, you've got your fresh water and wastewater drain offs as well. External shower point, uh, which can be hot and cold, which is a really good feature. Uh, it's on the inside, uh, which if you've been to the beach, if you've got a muddy pooch, you can uh, shower your, your feet off before you go in, shower the, the doggo off before you go in, so you're not going to get everywhere dirty. Huge. Um, amount of storage on the rear. Uh, so an absolutely massive uh, Fiamma Ultra box on the back for whatever you may need uh, to take all your spare bits and features. Reversing camera just at the top as well. Uh, so it gives you the helping hand uh, reversing the motor. Parking sensors as well, just down there. And your tow bar is just down there as well. So like I say, it's got absolutely everything you may need uh, to go around Europe, anything like that room for the two gas bottles just in there so you know never gonna run out of gas um that quickly gas barbecue point is just here so what that means you don't need to get your gas bottle in and out of time on a barbecue whack a bit of a gas pipe on that straight to your barbecue and it comes off your gas bottles uh, so a winner you don't need to keep lumping the gas bottles about fridge and freeze vents just there as well domestic wind out awning which goes down a full length of the van so perfect for the sunny days if you're uh, by the beach and you uh, want a bit of sunshade if you're out at night and it's getting a bit dark you've got a, a little light uh, awning light just there as well more storage accessible from the inside and out there as well so that is the outside so we'll jump on the inside now show you more bits on the inside so this van is a six berth and six belt so it travels six and sleeps six okay uh, so i'll show you how the beds go up uh, in a sec but we'll jump straight into the cab first so as you can tell we have the swivel seats in the front as well so uh, it makes it even more spacious if you want to sit around playing cards at night or eating that sort of thing in the front we've got six speed manual gearbox you've got aircon uh, Bluetooth radio, so you can connect your phone to that as well. Nice big screen for your reversing camera, so you can see it nice and clearly. Cruise control and um, steering wheel controls for like your phone and stuff. Lots of Uf USB and 12 volts down there as well. And storage everywhere, cup holders, literally everything you may need in the cab. So, like I said, it was a six berth, so the six belts is obviously one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the beds so this will make up into a double bed so we can unclip these lift off the rail leg just clips down like so rests either side of the little uh rails here so there's a little ledge just there that it will rest on so that's that base just there and then this bit here lift up comes over so we do recommend just flipping these over just for the extra comfort because it's a uh, more flat if that makes sense uh same with this one and then there's two infills in the back um so we've got them there so the that one there don't want to take it out of the packaging because uh no, that's, yeah it just means it's not been used really um so this one unfolds so that will go down there and fold over in that gap and this nice and big one here We'll just squeeze uh, in that little gap just in there look all right so just in there nice and tightly packed so obviously you don't want all the cushions moving if you're uh, moving about at night uh, and like i say that one just folds over once it's out of the packet so that is the uh 
the uh, bed all right so that, well that's one of the beds so there's i'll chuck the infusers back thank you wendy so i'll just wet this down here so you saw it took seconds to set it up and it's going to take seconds to dismantle it as well so that can go back over there and there and then the table will literally come out of there flick that back down and then that's back to the dining area already look all right so yeah in the space of seconds okay there's all storage underneath these as well so perfect like I say if there's six here you've all got plenty of storage the second bed flip the switch press down where are we there you go and then you've got the second bed so you've got ladder just at the top as well uh, to a uh, hook in there so you can obviously get in and out of bed there's the awning winder for the external awning and then you've got catch necks as well so no one or nothing rolls out phones etc uh, so you can uh, lock everything away in there and then the reverse of that just press up there you are go back up there into the kitchen we'll go so huge kitchen really uh, lots of storage space lots of worktop space so more worktop obviously the better and that can just flick down yeah. as easy as that three burner gas hob and your electric hot plate so uh, obviously cooking options grill oven and even more cooking options you've got your microwave at the top smashing so like i said as well if you go in europe it's getting hot or even in the uh the uk summertime it gets hot you got your uh, truma aircon as well so uh, that'll keep the uh habitation side of things really nice and cool okay lots of storage above the kitchen uh so i can keep going on about that so storage 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 uh, nice size sink as well with your draining board so a huge sink really with your faucet just there and then just below that we have your fridge so it's a three-way fridge works off mains plug-in when you're plugged in um gas when you're not plugged in and it run off your vehicle battery as well whilst you are traveling okay so keeping things cool whilst you're driving down loads of drawers for storage space in there toilet and shower just there so toilets just to the left more storage in there for your toiletries and showers just to the top as well yep uh nice size sink as well uh looking like it's floating which is a cool little idea wardrobe and more drawers below it so in your wardrobe you've got a few bits there's your freestanding table so you can have it inside outside shower curtain there's your external shower point which I was on about uh tv aerial solar panel so perfect for off-grid camping um so you can push your tv aerial up and find the best signal and then the last infill is for the rear bed so again it folds out i uh, don't want to get it out of the plastic so like i say yeah. never been used but folds out and it'll be a case of it will go down the middle because you'll lift this up and into the middle okay. same with this side and then the cushions will come in back ones fold down but again i recommend flipping them over and then that infill will just fit down a little gap to make them so stop moving about that sort of thing so you've got more storage underneath these as well more storage all around the top and this is a beautiful beautiful van yeah literally uh everything even the kitchen sink all right yeah. just there um <laughs> so yeah it will be moving it on to our showground in the next 10 minutes uh when i move it so if you if you do like the van if you have any more crazy questions my name's tom i'll be happy to help uh, and hope to see you soon to show you around this lovely van <laughs>